Hi, Solometrics users. Uh, I'm very excited to launch the new all-in-one smart campaign. Uh, the new feature is located under the peer-to-peer -peer reporting all-in-one smart campaign. So what this feature does is that it allows you to launch multiple sponsored product campaigns, uh, the different types of sponsored product campaign around your uh, product. So it's great for new product launches, right? It basically gives you like a full uh, sponsored product campaign structure and its corresponding uh, rules and bid uh, automation settings. You can see in the, the diagram here, we'll create four campaigns for you. Um, an auto campaign, a manual discovery campaign, a manual performance campaign, and also a PAT campaign. And then what the discovery campaigns will do is that we'll add, automatically add uh, search term harvesting rules around these campaigns to be able to harvest keywords that convert it into your performance campaigns. So how do we do this? First of all, let's uh, create a name around your product. Let's say that uh, you know, I'm selling baby monitor mount. And then I guess select where um, the actual campaign, uh, the set of campaign will be added to. So I'll just be my US account. So right now we can only select sponsored product, although these uh, other uh, advertising type will, um, will be supported hopefully soon. And then uh, we have, so then we have like a whole bunch of uh, products uh, within your catalog that you can select. And then um, this is a baby model now with like the product that I want to advertise for. So my target ACOS, 25%, um, and, uh, or you could uh, adjust to another percentage uh, target ACOS goal that you so desire. Uh, and then the bid strategy, uh, so very similar to how you set up your uh, sponsor product campaign, and then your placement percentage for a product campaign. So this would apply across the four campaigns that we're adding. Your uh, overall budget, so this is reallocated uh, between the four campaigns created. So let's just say I want to turn it to like 35 for example. The default bid. So what this would do is that this is the bid we'll use. So 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 this function will use the Amazon suggested bid as the first bid. Um, if it can, doesn't have any type of uh, suggested bid, we will use uh, this number as the default. So uh, let's just say uh, I want my bid to be say uh, 45 percent default bid. And then here uh, we have a list of suggested keyword for you based on the product that you select. And, or you can enter a list of keyword as well, right? And uh, you know, this is let's just say baby monitor mounts. So for here, we'll add the suggested bid for all the match types. If you so choose, you could also change um, the actual bid for each of these uh, specific match type and keyword and uh, customize. Uh, the bid offering that way. And another thing to point out that um, these bids is under the bid guideline, the bid guardrails that you input in your connected marketplace. So if it hits your bid guardrail, it's going to basically limit the number to your bid guardrail uh, to prevent you from uh, overbidding on a keyword. And then uh, same thing with um, the product targeting. I will give you a suggestion or you can actually enter like a list of keyword a list of um, ASINs that you want to advertise on. So let's add a few. Um, so uh, the ones that you add here um, is um, basically based on your uh, default bid entered in uh, step eight. And then lastly, you can preview what you want, uh, what's the final structure is. Once you're happy with the structure, so you can select um, the specific campaign you actually want to add. Let's just say, in this instance, you don't want to add an auto campaign with this um, product, then you could just uncheck it. Otherwise, select all to launch all four. So now I can click on launch. And as you can see, all of them went through successfully. And uh, you can see that it is currently created. So I'm going to go here. Uh, you could see here, uh, these are campaign that I just created. So that would be the 28% um, percent, 28 percent day cost goals. And you can see uh, for the discovery campaigns, we create the search term group for you. So you can harvest the keyword into the performance campaign. So it allows you to launch your uh, new product so much faster with uh, this uh, new feature. 
And then you can see the front end um, might take some time to load. Yeah, so you can see like right here, what I just launched. So the four campaigns right here, uh, I just launched using the all-in-one smart campaign. Uh, it's all located here. So uh, the all-in smart campaigns really allows you to launch campaigns quickly and really scale up your, um, your product launches, uh, save you time, and uh, allows you to save also time on uh, setting up uh, the, the campaign settings on solid metrics as well. Um, feel free to um, you know uh, forward me any questions if you have any. Uh, there's like a at uh, the module below. Uh -huh.